Hello, my name is Michaela Mejia. I'm a ninth grader who finished AP Sculpture. This video is to explain some of the processes I went through and some tips and tricks for you to use. You will have to make 15 SI sculptures. Um, included in these 15 sculptures, you will have two close-up shots and three sketches, which is a minimum of 10 sculptures you will have to make. To start this project, you must have an overall idea of what you want your um, SIs to be about. You can investigate a material, a culture, uh, or even an emotion. Let's get into my project. This is one of my SI pieces. As you can immediately tell, one of the materials I used was glass, which is very hard to work with, but if used correctly, can be a great asset. Other materials I also used would be cardboards, paper, spray paint, and different types of glues and scissors. This piece is about the stress and overwhelm of school. As you can see, there are lay passes on the base of the sculpture. This piece is about how students try to protect their mental health while still needing to go to school every day for long and early hours. Now I will show you some techniques on how to work with glass. First off, when working with sculptures, you're going to need a nice area for you to work with. This is my desk, and even though it's a little dirty, I always flip over this um, cutting board uh, so I have like a new, clean area to um, work with. So here, always have good lighting when you're working on your sculptures too. I have a window in front of me that I usually open up for good lighting, but I also have this lamp in case I'm doing like late shifts on working, so our area is like Nicely lit and perfect for working. To start us off, when working with glass, you're gonna need something to get the glass from, obviously. And you can do this from a variety of materials, but I usually get it from bottles because they're like the easiest thing to find. And they're recyclable and everything, you know? So here I have a Sprite glass bottle. And in order to start really, is to just break it. I think this way to break a bottle would probably be to put it in a bag and then cover that in a towel and basically just take a hammer to it so you don't get any shards anywhere because it's in the bag and it's covered by a towel. Once you're done breaking it, you can really go wonders with the thing. You can put the towel away, probably make sure it doesn't have any glass shards in it in case the bag broke. And you can really carry your bag of shards anywhere since it's a bag. Here I have my bag of um, glass because I just I keep mine handy. And here I have two bags separating my different types. Uh, here I have green glass, which is from Sprite bottles, and clear glass, which is from different types of bottles that I've just found. And obviously these shards are kind of, not this one specifically, but some of these shards are really small because um, I've used most of the big shards in my pieces but we're gonna continue and continue using these. Number one rule of working with glass is please be as safe as you can. Like glass, as you know, you guys probably know the glass is super sharp when you cut it. So you're gonna have to be like very careful with your fingers and how you maneuver them. And if you get a cut immediately, go wash it off, call an adult, you know, all the safety rules. I found E6000 the best glue to use. It takes a little bit longer to dry than other glues, but I find hot glue to immediately stick off. Obviously Elmer's glue is not gonna work with glass, but yeah. Okay, so we're putting on gloves just because this part is kind of tricky and I don't really want to get cut. And really any gloves that protect your finger work. I'm just using garden gloves that have rubbers on them so they can't really get to my fingers. As you can tell, I use this with art a lot. <laughs> um, if you want to like edit the size of your piece of glass, obviously you can take your hammer and lightly tap it because you don't want it to break into a thousand little pieces. But also, you don't if you want like a desired size to just so. And that's how you basically do it. And you can really just. Have a trash can nearby so you can just really scoop the stuff. I would recommend getting like a brush. Like, I can't really find my big brushes, but I would recommend getting one of these um, uh, brushes to just kind of scoop away the glass when you need to. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So here you can put a little bit of glue, just a teensy bit. That was a lot, but it's because my tube kind of comes out automatically. And just. Put it on there and place it there. You're gonna want that to be like gravitational pull of where you're putting it. 
you see how gravity, yeah. So you're gonna wanna like, keep it pressed if you're gonna keep it. And this is a piece that we have right now. If the camera can see it. Right, so the glue takes about uh, 15 minutes to 30 minutes to dry. So here you can see it's pretty solid. But all good sculptures take time. And that is it for this little tutorial.